Joey Whitaker. Is it okay for one motor to spin a few hundred RPM slower than the others? Um, uh, that depends, Joey, on where you're seeing that few hundred RPM. So if you're using, if you're arming the quad, it is completely normal when you arm the quad, especially if the props are off, that the motors will not spin at the same RPM because the flight controller is trying to sort of balance the quad. And so it might be necessary due to uh, a change in uh, the, the, the center of gravity for one motor to spin faster or slower than the others. As long as the quad is flying normally, then probably everything is, is as expected. If you were flying the quad and you were hovering and like one motor was 300, 500 RPM higher than all the others, that would suggest maybe something, I don't know, there's a there's a threshold where if one motor is ridiculously different than the others in a flat hover where they should basically be close to the same RPM, that would be worth investigating. You could have a bad bearing, like a bad bearing that's dragging and uh, causing the motor to like need to be at a higher throttle position or a motor is uh, you know, just making less RPM could, could point to a problem with the uh, center of gravity. But generally, when you arm the quad, there's no real strong expectation that the motors will all be at the same RPM. But if you're using the motors tab, that's a different story. And I'm going to assume that you're using the motors tab because that makes the question more interesting. Um, in the motors tab, when you raise the throttle to such and such a position, all of the motors should make about the same RPM. Assuming What's the variable here, folks? What are the variables? Let's ask the chat. Let's quiz the chat. What are the variables that control how fast a motor spins? There's the throttle position. Okay, I'll give you that one. What are the other two variables, at least two, that control how fast the motor spins? Okay, that's right. I see two correct answers. Is it, a, is it an African swallow or a European swallow? No. Uh, the KV of the motor and the voltage that the motor is getting. Some people said the battery. I, I, cons I consider that to be a correct answer. Generally, there's, there's three parameters that, go that control the, the RPM of a motor. The throttle position that the flight controller feeds to the ESC, the KV of the motor, and the voltage of the battery. Now, there are more things that play into that if we really wanted to dig into it. Like for, like I said earlier, if you have a bad bearing and the bearing is dragging and creating friction, then at a given throttle position, KV and uh, voltage, the motor will spin slower because it has more drag. Okay, but if we could assume, let's assume that those things are, are roughly equal for the motors. So then, what would, it, what would it mean if we raised the, the slider in the motors tab and we saw that three of the motors were spinning at a certain RPM and one of the motors was spinning at a, a significantly different RPM? It could mean that that motor has a different KV. Now, probably the, all the motors you have are stamped with the same KV on the bell, but there's some variance in manufacturing. I think that a, a variance of maybe 50 KV is plus, let's say plus or minus 50 KV from the, what's stamped on the bell would be actually completely unremarkable to me. Um, I've done not a lot of motor testing, but I've done enough motor testing. And I've talked to guys like Ryan Harrell and other people who do a lot of motor testing. If you get a motor that's stamped 2400 KV and it reads uh, 2380 or 2430, you know, Within about a plus or minus, let's say, 50 kV range, that's completely normal. Um, and so, by the way, when you see motors that are stamped 2379 kV, that is complete bullshit. That is complete bullshit. The, the manufacturing of the motors is not precise enough to guarantee exactly 2349 kV. When they say 2,400 kV, you could go, okay, well, they're just rounding it. But anybody who makes a motor with like a ridiculously specific kV, it's marketing bullshit uh, and it doesn't, doesn't mean anything. Um, so 
The other thing that could be happening is you could have a bad ESC. If your ESC has one FET that's dead, the motor will spin slower. You could have a motor that's uh, damaged, making it spin slower. These are all things that could come into play.